it is evening time i know i didn't say good morning but i was running a bit late but yeah it's the end of the day i have one class left we had our practice for our debate we're debating tomorrow on same-sex marriage so we did practice our debate today and my speech did go over the five minutes so i have to cut some things so it's good that i practice because if not on the real day i would have went over my five minutes we'll see how this day ends guys today is the day of my debate wow it's so fast how that came three weeks ago we were given this assignment and we had to really think about it really put thought and effort really searching every nook and cranny of the bible trying to find something today i get to present my information i'm hoping everything goes well i hope the students and the teacher understand where i'm coming from but yeah as you can see i look presentable today i'm not wearing a hat i put product in my hair and i shave my beard <sighs> let's see how today goes and I think I might film it. Okay, so today is Friday. I just submitted one of my tests, so I'm good so far. But I wanted to talk about my debate that I had on Tuesday about same-sex marriage. Well, <laughs> can I say that I was super nervous? First time, I would say, in high school you have presentations that you do, right? But I would say this is the first time where I've stood up in front of a class and my legs are shaking. Like my legs were like literally shaking. You know, you, you have always hear it like in the movies, right? Oh, my legs are shaking and nervous people like that, right? And I'm like, I have never experienced that before. So I don't know if it's true. Well, I can tell you now it's true. I tried my best to be moving around because I felt that if I stood still, my knees would just buckle in and I would drop. The debate was good. We don't know who won. The teacher doesn't give the grade and he doesn't say who wins the debate. It was an experience first. I've never had to dig into the Bible like that before because I took it upon myself to present the biblical perspective and i never really took the time to dive in the bible and see what it says about it i always hear it second hand the tactic that i used for this debate was to debunk the bible i was kind of lying but so what i was doing i was using analogies because the debate is on that that we should be following the bible that's why we should not legalize same-sex marriage so what I was trying to do was trying to say, if we want to follow the Bible, then there's a lot of history that we need to bring up back. Like if, like if you want to follow the Bible, then in 2017, if your father decides to sell you, if you're a female and your father decides to sell you, then you have to go. You have to be sold because that's what it was in the Bible. That was the approach I took it. I wanted to like say that we as a society in 2017 are already not following the Bible. So therefore we can legalize same-sex marriage. It was crazy. Crazy, I would say because when I finished people were applauding me I did that good I don't know so the thing was that I think my teacher said that if you don't really know the Bible then I would have been able to convince you that we should legalize same-sex marriage based on how I brought up some really crazy things in the Bible but however if you know the Bible you would know that I got all of my scenarios from the Old Testament and that time period is before Jesus came and when Jesus came he changed all those things Jesus came he said that no the fathers you cannot sell your daughters anymore and stuff like that so it, so that was able to like trash my my point that i was bringing across but luckily the opposing group the opposing team didn't they didn't catch on so they weren't able to to fight me on that they weren't able to bring that point across so kind of i kind of won i kind of won in my opinion <laughs> i guess there was two students and one of them two students who are really knowledgeable about the bible because during every debate you have to give the class has to give their opinion and every time the debate came a uh, certain debate came and they give the opinion they're quoting like 17 verses in the bible on why we should say no so and one of them said that i got after the debate was finished they said that that my points were based on the old testament so all in all it was good it was scary in the beginning being there that in front of everybody and knowing that i'm kind of lying by the way that was our exam our 
our debate was our exam so i guess for that class i'm done with my exam i guess i did i think i did good i don't know if he's gonna give i don't know if he's going to say who won or not but anyways i'm just relaxing i have a little bit of work to do which is fine oh yeah but anyway this week was short because i was it was pretty busy i hope you liked this video please like share subscribe i will see you next week bye I can move. <laughs> oh, but you can see some imperfection, but that's alright. Oh, I'm super exposed. No, okay. But yeah. Uh huh. By the way, that that. Please. <laughs> Please.